Hello there everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. And we got to say cheers throughout this whole video. Cheers, cheers, cheers to none other than Candy Burris. From what I hear from my sources, Candy might not be a part of the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta after season 14 because allegedly she may be having a seat at the table what table i'm talking about the table at bravo rumor has it that she may be offered a position as a creative producer okay a creator producer can you hear the ringing of the cha-ching cha-ching and or a seat at the board table of True Original. Okay. They love themselves some candy. And candy definitely has been towing the line. Keeping her head down. And definitely getting into the business side of entertainment news. Now how about that being some first rate tea? allegedly just know when it comes all out you know where you heard it from first okay so stay tuned but hey look what candy had to go through look at the man she had to go through all right y'all know she didn't have a good time fooling with block and his lies and him being married she getting caught up she getting pregnant and want to keep her baby and still have to deal with block no nonsense or nonsense self okay didn't want to be a good provider didn't want to be in his daughter life and like Bradley had made a cute little rap uh what was it called uh better late than never or some shit like that it wasn't a hit but it was some thing where she got a chance to speak her truth through music so i'm proud of riley but riley doing her thing she ain't god this girl making them good grace and gonna come out here and be an entertainment lawyer and all people better watch out <laughs> they better watch out but cheers 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 to candy burris for possibly inking a deal that's gonna make her have all the housewives current and past okay current and past want to look at her probably salty but you got to know the girl may be boring as far as watching her but she ain't no fool she don't learn the tricks behind the scenes and if this young fella didn't die because he ain't like Mama Joyce either. I'm going to tell you. If you've been watching uh, Housewives since um, Candy got into it. Uh, got into the franchise. Y'all would have know a little bit about him. I don't even know his name. Somebody tell his name. What his name is. I just remember his face. But he got caught up into some drug related stuff. And he got shot in some parking lot. Like uh, mafia style or whatever. And she didn't get a chance to marry him. So that was pretty good. Not for him, but for Todd, because she didn't have anybody after that. And Mama Joyce, like I said, she didn't like him. He had kids out the Wazooka. She didn't like Candy having to have to call herself, take care of somebody else's children, and this, that, and the third. So Mama Joyce could care less about him. And she probably celebrated after the, they found the uh, boy dead in the car or whatnot. She probably said, whoop, that's off my track. Thank you, Lord. That's probably what, <laughs> that's probably what Mama Joy said. And we see the end result. We know how she met Todd. She tries to appease Todd. But she wasn't going to marry Todd unless he signed that prenup. She would have hated not getting married to him. She would have hated spending all that money on that wedding. But, hey. Her mama didn't raise no food. She said, you either sign on the dotted line or you can kiss my ass goodbye. Now, we know Todd was working behind the scenes as a, I don't know, paper boy. Or, or I don't know what he was doing. They said he was producing. But he messed up and gave her two beautiful kids. And I don't think she wanted any more children anyway. So, he better toe the line. Because she about making that paper, that money, and she don't need him financially. And he knows that. So he better either be stacking his money or total line. Because 
uh, Cannon got her two beautiful children by him. And she probably would never keep him from his children if they ended up getting a divorce or whatnot. But she ain't going to take no bullshit off of him. And as we were going to see in the trailer and on her new show, Can in the Game, she still don't take no bullshit off of Tar. She still tell him what she want him to know. Okay? And he can walk out the door and, and whatever he want to do because it's celebration time. And she'll easily replace him. Everybody's replaceable. Okay? She'll probably just throw out or put on a, um, the record player, how we old folks say. <laughs> You can tell I'm aging. I'm telling y'all my age. But she'll probably put on a, the CD or whatever and say uh, Beyonce, Beyonce's song, um, Irreplaceable. <laughs> Irreplaceable. You know that song. To the left, to the left. Yes, honey. Now, we already knew Candy had something like Candy Cold at Nights. It was like a little sex talk show that she did after midnight or late in the evening hours where she talks about sex and, you know, um, uh, the different uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, positions you can do. And she just had little celebrities come to her house, and they had something, you know, uh, like a little studio. They would get in there and just talk, you know, shit, pretty much. And you know, she's already developed her uh bedroom candy line. You know, trying to be a madam in some words. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She like that freaky deaky stuff, and then she likes. People to dress up and play a part and this, that, and third. And if you ain't got no man, she said, that's okay. Because we can let you pleasure yourself. Same look. It's just you ain't got the man. But you got a little stick to make it work. The magic stick. I'm 56, say. And look at him. I got the magic stick. Mm-hmm. That's the magic stick. That's the magic accessories from Candy's bedroom line. All right. And she probably going to start making lingerie. Who knows, honey? But we're going to celebrate, celebrate her and her endeavors. She continues to be putting out on our behinds. But, yeah, when I heard that little Tita, she might be creative producer. I'm like, what? And, you know, she's it's up there with her because she definitely will be shitting on Portia Williams. Yes, Portia Williams should have never crossed Candy with no foolishness about a dungeon. Her and Phaser got that shit going on. But look what she did. She turned lemons into lemonade, honey. She went out there and took what they meant to be her downfall and her destruction and to destroy her in public as well as in private. Child, please. Like that thing say, celebrate even the small successes on the way to your goal. And she shitting on every last one of her haters. You hear me? Yes, Candy is celebrating. We we celebrating right with her. Okay? Because she knows about NDA clauses. She know about uh, anything she wants to put and keep it in secret. She make them sign it. Okay? And, you know, she had a little sex dungeon. little uh tryst of a show that she... Put on the road and it was making her money. Oh, something Phaedra and Pat Portia Williams had tossed out there into society to make her, you know, if was proving guilt, she was proving guilty or true that she was trying to do that to Portia. Can't go away to jail. Yes, and being, you know, be, have a felony uh, charge on her record. She never got out of jail till she was old and ready to sit in a wheelchair. Okay. But child, she turned lemons into lemonade. All right. Because I was like half on her side and half not on her side. I was like, shit, if it's, it's detrimental to you, why would you even want to play a part in keeping that in people's minds by having this dungeon tour? But Candy, like, I didn't put that shit out on me. But I'm so finna make it rain up in here, okay? I'm going to turn it into a money uh we call it not a money tree, but a money dungeon, okay? It's going to rain mighty hard with them ones, them tens, them fives, anything people want to throw out in the crowd. But they're going to have to pay for a mission. And she said, <laughs> ka-ching, I'm going to make a storyline out of that. And it's not going to be played on Bravo. So she took all the uh, money there from those in, uh, endeavors and made money off of it. Then she went out there and made a candy-coated makeup line. I said, well, God damn, look pretty on your haters, honey. Look pretty. Be face as well as clothes. Face and fashion, all right? And then got to seat at the board table. I'm like, go, 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 
I'll do your thing. Go on and do your thing. Do that damn thing, Candy. You ain't even 50 years old. And gonna probably be a billionaire when you hit the big five oh. And you just shitting on Nene. You shitting on Kim. Zosiac, you're shitting on Portia Williams, and you're shitting on uh, Phaedra Pauls. In my defecated voice, Lauren Hill said, I'm finna defecate on your behind. Then, you remember, that's a uh, scene from when she was calling herself being a part of the shot. You know, that little show that was on, I don't forgot what network it was on, but she was over there doing her acting thing, her gig. Like, hey, Nene wanted to do She's shitting all over Nene. Okay, Nene can't help it. She can't stand it. It's, it's burning her inside. Probably giving her ulcers and everything. But yes, you know when she produced that play in New York on Broadway. And she went up there and did her doggone thing. So why not? Bravo should offer her that creative producer job. I was like, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Now, I wasn't too fond of that mother's love because a lot of people lost money on that deal because something tall that did. But as far as it's kept, I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> we don't want to even talk about him too much. We celebrating Candy, his wife. You remember she did that, um, what do you call it? The mass Singer, the Unveiling, and she had won that night. Now, you know, I ain't never been too fond of Candy. And I still think of her as a backup single. I don't care what y'all say. She can't hold a tune that long, but it just is what it is, okay? She can do other things behind the scene, like write music, uh, produce music, um, do arrangements of music. The girl is like, ta-da, surprise, look at me now, bitch, look at me now. All right, I'm like, God, dog, that's it. Ooh, child, this girl ain't even 50, and she doing the darn thing. She don't need a man. She don't need a woman. She only just need Jesus, and that's it. You hear what I'm saying? She could retire today and go live her best life and get away from all of this if she wanted to. But she's still in the grind because she's a strong black woman. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Portia, this is what I am talking about. And she ain't relying on a man to take care of her. You don't hear that from Todd. I say cheers to you, Candy. Hey, she giving Todd some credit for Candy and the game. Which I'm like, is he working on this project, Candy? Is he working on this project, girl? Because we need him to do a lot more than being your chauffeur and your assistant. You know what I'm saying? Keep his ass in the back because we don't need to see him. We celebrating you, girl. We celebrating you. And Bravo wants you, too. So that's why I said that little um snapshot where they had uh, or saying they were saying Gina Ma may take Candy Place. That may actually be true because Candy will make much more money being behind the scenes, being a creative producer. What I was rumored to hear her get or a seat at the boardroom on Bravo. Okay, so she might be a EP executive producer producer in some sort and have some power to editing you see what i'm going with this people ka-ching and that's her she's over in new york at the nasdaq you know wall street where they ring the bell when it's time for them to start trading she was up there now you know ain't nobody but no money people up there money people up there that's some business that's some real shit and i'm sure she got big cons and stock exchange going on everywhere Hope she don't do no inside trading because that's, that's a felony. And that will land her ass right up in jail like Martha Stewart. You know what I'm saying? But we know she's smarter than that. We know she's street smart. Okay? Well, Bravo love themselves some candy birds. Okay? And I'm here for her. They flew her as well as Mama Joyce and her two aunts and Todd. Okay? They flew them to New York. Now, is that not the first rate, and they probably was in first class, seating that you would want to have? Bravo show up and show out on these ladies right here. Okay, and Mama Joyce is enjoying every little bit of it, and she don't want to in too many pictures. Because <laughs> she said, this OLG thing was founded upon us three women, not you, Todd. So, scooch us behind on out the way. Okay, so I know Todd somewhere he's feeling kind of salty, this, that, and the third. Even though they had a little billboard of him. If you go on Todd's little Instagram, um, I think it's Instagram. Hell, it might be. No, it has to be Instagram. Go on Todd167. Hell, it might be Facebook. But he uh, showed up. They got him on this billboard where he's having a little photo of his little uh, 
chest area okay candy had you know candy got her peas here and there to keep him from being salty and running his mouth for the negative you know how men is they can't stand they ain't get no attention on themselves so they gotta you know be acting all crazy instead of just being loving to you know the woman that's doing the darn thing but you know if it ain't them they feeling some kind of way like they in the way they need to be doing this they want their own thing well i'm like girl right now she's shitting on nene because nene wanted what candy got okay she wanted her own show candy got her own spinoff it ain't the first time it's several times okay and she's being so well liked with Bravo, and she is the highest paid at this point. She's shitting on Portia, okay? Portia trying to get back in with her, but it ain't gonna happen. Everybody can see through that veil. We transparent, Portia. We see you. We see you. And Candy don't give a shit about you, okay? Cheers again to Candy. She's shitting on both Portia. And Phaedra, because quiet as a kid, a lot of times I'm going to speak it out. I don't care what y'all say. That girl, meaning Phaedra, she wants to be back on the show. But she knows she ain't got a hell of a high heel bean, okay? She ain't got no pool, and she ain't coming. Candy got that shit blocked, okay? Now, if, if I see it. She wants to throw her a bone. She'll be telling how many scenes she want Phaedra in. And she, it's just like it wouldn't be a point for Phaedra to come back. Because Candy will probably be so petty with her, I would say. I wouldn't say evil. I'll say petty. And she would make her toe the line. And it would just drive Portia, I mean, Phaedra crazy. So, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Okay? She will stay canceled. Because if Candy's in some kind of seat... That will probably be one of her rules. She can't make no bread off the hill. She will not be making no bread on Real Housewives of Atlanta as long as I am here. And from what they say, she got a, they got a pretty good cast. I don't know. Because, you know, they always say that shit to draw us in. And it'll be something totally different when we be sitting up there watching a whole hour of mess. And I'm talking for the negative. Not nothing popping off. Kenya cannot hold the show on her own. She needs some more players to back her up. Or it should be called the Kenya Show. So we'll see what Marlo bring. We'll see what this new lady, Sanya, the Olympian athlete, will bring. We don't give a shit about over here, Drusadora, okay? Because she was boring. They shit about Shamari back with all her alcoholic type issues she was having. Because it might have been something serious for her, but she ain't taking it serious. It was funny as hell to me, okay? But Tom better watch his back. He better walk that uh, walk and talk that talk because, hey, Candace is too high up to be looking down at him or be looking at him feeling some kind of salty that he's feeling towards her because she can catch it and he can catch a case if he want to she'll cut him a settlement check and bounce on by her little way okay but i'm sure candy had her lawyers look over it it's probably a, a, a lot a very lot ironclad um we got prenup so anything that probably she had prior for him getting into the marriage she kept that uh to herself he can't touch that okay but yeah nene may be making faces but she probably uh sitting there wishing she hadn't said what she said okay so that's the shady punch we got to give on nene and portia they thought they was the shit they thought they was the it factor they was out there running their mouths you know telling other people what was going on behind the scenes did that and third and wanting to be protesting here and there and look where their ass is at so marlo better hey she just got a peach she just got a peach. Don't want you to lose it in that first season, baby. So slow your roll. Her was over there trying to get salty with candy, okay? Don't think that's a smart move. You might need to rethink that because, again, you were given a peach, okay? They can take the peach away. Give up and take us away. That's what the government do to their citizens all the time. They give us shit, then they take it back away. They give us an increase, then they take the shit back the next year. You know what I'm saying? For so security people, I've seen it happen because it happened to my mama. They said she getting a raise and, 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 and good benefits, and then shit come back. She paying for it. And what they gave her, they went up on her medical and, um, what do you call it? The medical and pharmacy. But they said they were giving a raise. But they went up on it. So they ate up all of that. Okay. The, with the new stuff they were trying to give up. So it's just a hot mess. How things go. But yeah. Todd. 
candy will leave you. <laughs> okay? You see what it said? Leave you. So don't act wrong. Because you're rolling on the roller coaster. And you're flying in the first class seats of the airplane. Don't fuck it up. Okay? Don't fuck it up. Don't get jealous. Don't be trying to play like nobody see you. And they just giving candy all the fanfare. What she needs to fanfare. She don't work hard. It's chills to her. So whatever she gets. She will bless you. Okay. So don't look at it salty now. Because I don't really know why she put your ass on that billboard. But I said she probably was appeasing you. And thought that would be a nice gesture. Because everything was on her. And her mother. And her aunts. And he might have been feeling some kind of way. Okay. But you got to do the work. You got to put the work in, Todd. And we got to see you showing and proving before we can clack the glasses together and say cheers. But right now, your woman is ruling. Your woman is making the darn thing happen and becoming a success. Not overnight. Okay? She been in the grind. So it's time for us to shine some spotlight on her. Do the spotlight, do the spotlight, do the spotlight, shine, shine, well done girl, well done girl, get the spotlight, put in the spotlight, yes honey, take them selfies, it's all about you and let everything rain, just pure money, okay, pure money, cause you work hard for it, and you're sending your daughter to uh, school, making sure she learns hard, play hard in those books and she comes out and work hard to take care of you when you get old but you ain't gonna need her financially because you already said okay you already already said but yes honey that's some of the crew um the two ladies i think on the right that's her um cast mates that's in the can in the game Right. Bravo's doing that heavy promotion. She's uh, talking about it on everybody's social media platform that's higher up, you know, like the view, the reel, and all that kind of stuff she's making. And the Wendy Williams show, too, I believe, because they had a guest. They had a guest uh, host. I think his name was Rappaport or something. Candy was on and talking uh, to him about the show and just that and the third. And, you know, Bravo's paying for her to go to New York and do all these wonderful interviews about the guy. I mean, they doing publicity. You hear what I'm saying? The advertisement is first notch. First rated. Okay, but they didn't do shit with Portia Family Matters because they knew it wasn't going to be but a bunch of shit when they was filming it. They're like, uh-uh, because this can go either way. This can go either way. And it, they, it went real soft real fast. Okay, so Candy Show will be coming, uh, I think they said May 1st is what I hear the streets are talking about. And it's going to be coming, well, the Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to be featured after Candy Show. So I can see this being... Uh, Maybe four or five episodes. Not four or five episodes. Seasons. Four or five seasons. Because, hey, what is, we don't have to see Candy interact that much. You know what I'm saying? She's going to have people making the magic happen. And she just show up and give her opinion of what she feels she want to do about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like she's playing that back seat, but it's okay. And I know Miss Ganya. Can you like being on a winning team? And she smells money when she's over there hugging up with uh, Candy. Okay, Candy might be young, but she ain't dumb, okay? Not far from that. Even before she got on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, she was writing music and producing music for other artists. So that says a lot what she's true to form in. So... This other part is just building her up more and more to be a boss, okay? You ain't got to see her up front on the camera, but you'll see her definitely in the back signing checks, signing positions here and there. Can you? I see her burning. I see her. I see her, okay? Do Nene and Portia and Phaedra see her is what I want to know, okay? All right. But yes, honey. Yes, Nene can turn up that nose, turn up her ass in the same uh, twitch if she want to. But Candy got this shit on lock. So, we'll have to see what it does play out. If it's just a rumor, it's just a rumor. We still celebrate her anyway because it won't take away from everything that I said about her. About all her entrepreneurship. Uh, what she does in the community. How she has built her empire and how she's continuing to layer layering it and she's doing it 
by the grace of God. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't know which God she serves, so we 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 will still be tuning in for that as well. All right. But yeah, she got her two beautiful children. She got a um stepdaughter and um uh she well I'm saying she got three beautiful children and a stepdaughter. Just let's just to say she got four children, okay? Just to be on the safe side. So we'll be politically correct. Cause Todd that is his daughter. And she wants to treat uh Todd's daughter like she's her own, but you know, he's stuck in I don't know, back ass lane. He don't want nobody to get no money. He, you know, if you give his daughter some money that could be some money on his ass. So we ain't gonna even go there. We're gonna say she has four lovely kids. And I forgot to say, she still has her tag stores. Now Nene, where's swag, baby? Where's swag? Where are your swags that you tried to have go international and worldwide? Their clothes, aren't they? And you probably still owe those people money. You just closed them up, shut them out without telling them anything. All right, that was piss poor. And it may be showing the w why you're suffering now. Okay, you're suffering now. So, you know, came, Candy was on Broadway. We can't forget that. Uh, she did a little stink in New York. Uh, I forgot what. Uh, play she was playing in. What was that play? Shit, I can't think of it to save my life. I don't think it was uh, it wasn't Annie, was it? Oh, I can't think of the play, y'all. But maybe y'all can put down in the comments. But uh, yeah, looking like Betty Boop, <laughs> a black Betty Boop. I ain't look up black. I think Betty Boop was found founded after a black woman. But I could be wrong about that. I think I read this somewhere. But anyway, yeah, Candy doing that darn thing. She doing that Hollywood darn thing. I just hope, hopefully, she ain't sold her soul. You know what I'm saying? Cause baby girl did come up kind of quick. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Baby girl came up kind of quick, but I ain't gonna, you know, dog her on her achievements before. Um. Uh, she started coming up. I'm just gonna say it was hard work and pure dedication to the field of making money. Okay, and she does give back to the community. I drink a little water here. Got a little par parched, parched. So if y'all do see Jenny my Gen Jenny May my whatever she call her name, if she does do come on Atlanta, don't think it's far fetched because that would be moving Candy on into. A new position at Bravo. One that's going to make Portia sick at the stomach. And probably going to make Nene double over and go have to have surgery. Okay. Because she just. She's going to be done fell out somewhere. Alright. And, and she just can't understand that. You know. Uh, Bravo was her baby. She birthed it. She did all of that. She ain't even on the damn show no more. You see what I'm saying. You see how life just turns upside down. And who's on the winning stick now. The one she fussed with. Had talked about her mom and Candy said, I didn't like it. <laughs> she said, I said what I said. And Candy said, what you said was messed up. But I know she wanted to say it was effed up. And it was bullshit. That's what she wanted to say. But she was trying to keep it all kosher and trying to do the political thing correctly. And, you know, look how she's winning. Ta-da! <laughs> she winning, okay? And then what? In the unemployment line, okay? And she don't watch it too far. Why she's fooling around with this Nayoni and trying to get him pressed and probably buying up stuff for him. She better be sitting up there worried about that lounge, okay? That's what she needs to be because far as is kept and told, I wouldn't have bought no apartment. I would have bought me a little something, even if it was like a $100,000 home. Ain't nobody really checking for Nene and then Nene ain't really doing nothing. I still would have been living in the house because something about living too close to people. I don't care if it's in a real nice neighborhood or it's in a real nice secured uh, gated community. I just don't like townhomes. They're too much like apartments. One person get over there, fuck up everything, don't pay attention, and they sit up there and have a fire. All your shit gone too. You know what I'm saying? At least if you got some distance between houses and somebody's house burning across the street, it ain't going to come over there or on the side of you. It ain't going to come over there because we got space. And if I had to go out there and get my, uh, what do you call it? My, uh, what is that thing called? Water hose and help the fire get put out. That's what I be doing. In my uh, gown or night clothes out there trying to water throwing buckets on it and everything so it don't come and hit my house. You hear what I'm saying? You do. When you get desperate, you do some crazy ass shit. And sometimes it works out. You don't know how much strength you have until you put into a situation where it's in dire constraints. Alright? 
But I think Canada definitely won when Brock treated her the way he treated her. Even though I, I think it wasn't a situation she should have been in from the beginning. And definitely shouldn't have been having no baby. But since the baby got produced, it wasn't no sense uh, of destroying the baby. Especially she had love for the man at one time. She had love for her baby. She wanted to carry it. Understood. It, got it good. Okay. But, hey, you don't have to worry about it. If, if anything, Candy, I wouldn't be trying. Even though Rally trying to say... You know, he need to pay this, that, and third. You don't want no salt ass money. Or you don't begging a man for no money. I know, I know it's the principle of the thing, but sometimes you can't you can't get nothing out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? And you got to just, you know, like my mama said, you don't need to force a man to pay for something he don't want to pay for, even if it is a child. He gonna get his in the end. Let the Lord take care of it. You ain't gotta take that man to court. You make it too much money. Just pay him dust because Quiet as is kept, a lot of them going to speak it out. He may need Riley one day. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to be her choice of how she was raised and how she feel about certain things and how she want to handle it on a professional level, whether she choose to help her dad or not. But that's her choice. You see what I'm saying? But I wouldn't make him pay for shit. I'd say, fuck it, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, 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 fuck you, okay? And my Jamie Fox voice, all right? And I would just go on and sashay my ass away and, and wish him well because you've gotten the uh, the definitely best part of the stick of having a daughter, beautiful daughter, intelligent daughter, daughter know what she wants. She in college trying to make her own way so she can provide for herself. She don't need a man. Okay, she don't need a man to take care of her unless she want a man to take care of her. And hopefully they're evenly yoked and, and she loves the man whether he's making more money than her or he's making, you know, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to say nothing because he need to be doing something. You know what I'm saying? But you got to look at Candy. And, you know, most kids look at their parents and they emulate. You know what I'm saying? So if she wants to take care of a man, I guess that's fine. Okay, because Candy can't be too wish washy on it because she's taking care of Todd. You know? <laughs> We're going to put it like what it is. Mama Joy don't like it because, you know, that's messing up Mama Joy's money. But she's going to call a spade a spade any time of the day. But we know Candy's not going to defy her mother in any way, shape, form, or fashion. All right? But, um... You know, like I said, Mama Joyce would have not been stuck with Todd, but she would have been stuck with that man from Quiet as Kept. Lots of them speak it out. They say he was dealing dope, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? So that wasn't a good look for Candy anyway. I think she got saved by the bell on that loss. And then she hooked up with um, Fathead over there. I don't know what he's doing. I, you know, I, you know, that's her. That's her. She love it. I like it. You know? And that's all I got to say about her and Todd's relationship. Okay? Um, but yeah, Candy's a boss, yeah, she's a real boss, so the people that weren't rooting for her, the people that were, uh, talking bad about her, uh, not from a point, standpoint that she boring on the show, cause I think Candy knows she's kind of boring on the show, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's been tagged with her, and she wears the badge honorably, you know what I'm saying, we, she knows she's a bone collector, and, you know, she cut up here and there, but it's not enough, like, how can you be twirling and showing up and showing out, you know what I'm saying? Or she's not another nene that want to create, you know, drama where there need to be. And she's not Marlo. And Portia only played the cute part and trying to get me and stuff like that. So, it's time for her to go and step into her other shoes that may be awarded to her before the year's out. And like I said, hey, uh, remember who you heard it from definitely shout my name out subscribe to the channel like and share my videos and let's blow up together okay because we do a lot of people get on me saying you know i don't you know be talking good about black women and this that and the third where black women showing up and showing out like candy birds damn i would talk about them you know what i'm saying if they show up and show out like kenya being a mother and, and, and balance the two from doing public figure stuff for her career and the choices she makes in the industry and then being with you know her uh daughter and trying to do the right thing about that and then you know saying admitting that she needs she wants i should say not need a man you know what i'm saying a companionship because she went through that whole scenario about wanting a man gotta have a man she want to have a family she want to have a baby just that and third but 
you don't hear her talking about a man now. I mean, she wants to mix and mingle now because she's divorced. Or at least I'm hoping she's divorced. You know, and she's trying to do the right thing and have the same balance between career, family life. You see what I'm saying? And that's something Portia hasn't learned yet. She's still chasing after this billionaire, millionaire man that probably would not be there in her lifetime. Okay, she's gonna be wasting all that time instead of looking for some everyday Joe blow. And, and making it work and making it do what it do. Because y'all can make a million together. You ain't got to just rely on that one person. And you stay at home thinking you want to raise a family in these days and these economies. Uh, this economy we're struggling in right now. So, uh, yeah. That's all I got, y'all, for this particular uh, video. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you want to go look at some more stuff, Candy has it on her i think it's her instagram account or it might be her facebook account where she has pictures of her at the nasdaq and uh you know they put a billboard on todd i ain't really want to talk about todd because he ain't he you know he ain't he ain't relevant at this time okay because i'm still trying to figure out what he did with them trucks or that truck he's supposed to been uh getting truck drivers to drive and do those long housing and pick up uh what you call the poultry on um, whatever goods they bring to the masses to the different stores and stuff of that nature he's probably been doing some stuff like that but i don't know maybe he got caught up with the restaurant deal but he couldn't been doing too much at the restaurant because the inspections was going to hell so i, I don't know i don't I can't just have them there for security purposes i guess and you know i, I don't know I, I really don't know so i'm just gonna get off the subject and forget i said anything about him because we were talking about candy with and all the stuff she doing out him and what uh bravo wants to do for her in the future you see what i'm saying they taking care of candy okay candy's been very well taken care of and she knows where her bread is butter and she ain't gonna do anything to anyone to upset that balance okay but that's all i got y'all that's all i got hope y'all enjoy the video y'all come back uh to the house and we can talk um, amongst ourselves about other things other videos and how we feel about what we see on our tv screens and what we see out there in the public eye in Atlanta, Georgia, okay, when it comes to these housewives and their comings and goings and just that in the third. All right, but um, that's all I got for this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye bye.